Today we're gonna cover three add-ons that provide amazing value considering the fact that you're gonna get them for free. So please watch till the end cause you might find this useful. Number two, Bagapi. This is a new free Blender add-on that can help you do many things including using fast boolean tools that will allow you to work on complex hard surface models easily. It also has scattering tools that can come handy when working on natural environments and exterior scenes. It allows you to scatter different elements like rocks, plants, shrubs or any type of foliage you want to create. You can also use the paint tool to paint your elements on the surface you are working on and realize something that looks nice and create nice looking environments. It also allows you to create circular arrays and manipulate them as you please. You can position, rotate, scale them and move them, in addition to other things. Overall, it gives you a lot of freedom and allows you to be creative. You can also create grid arrays, in addition to line arrays as well, which is going to speed up your workflow tremendously, especially in architectural work. In addition to that, one of the interesting things you can do is creating walls using the add-on. This can come very handy when creating buildings starting from floor plans, and the add-on gives you a lot of flexibility editing these walls. You can move them, scale them, rotate them, cut them, and more. You can also create arrays across curves, which allows you to create different elements that need to move across shapes that are not straight or circular. This gives you freedom when creating, for example, chains, fences, belts, or anything of that nature. The add-on also seems pretty good when working with displacement maps. It allows you to morph surfaces into ones that have a lot of depth and volume using the parameters it comes with. Number 1. Bstats Blender Baker this is another free and great add-on for Blender that will help you specifically when it comes to texture baking. First of all, it will help you with the most obvious thing, which is baking from high poly to low poly models, while at the same time generating the necessary maps that will help you make the low poly model look as great as the high poly one. You can also bake your shaded model into the non-shaded one, and you will get similar results with similar impressive details. But before baking your textures, you have to have the high poly model and the low poly model matching. You're gonna have to do this when it comes to smaller pieces that comprise these models. The add-on is going to help you make sure that you have the same pieces matching each other when it comes to the number of pieces and their naming convention. The add-on also gives you the ability to preview your maps, I mean your baked maps, whether it be ambient occlusion, color, normals, specular, metallic, roughness, and more. Also, one of the important things in baking textures in Blender or any other 3D software is going through the explosion process, which is about separating each part of the model so that each small piece is going to be baked from the high poly to the low poly without any problems and giving each piece room to be baked separately without intersections with the other pieces. Another great thing about this add-on is that it has the ability to use anti-aliasing after the baking is done or in post-processing. It allows you to fix some of the problems when your baking is done. It also allows you to bake displacement textures or maps to simple planes, giving you the ability to have a simple plane with the same level of detail and depth as something you can generate using complex displacement map. And if you want to take it further, you can also bake lighting to make it even more realistic and believable. If you are interested in these add-ons, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.